Nothing not at all. Well, no. I have a few temporary gigs, but mm -hmm. well, I'm a qualified nurse and I, I'm not working with government. As a nurse, that's one of the major things I look forward to looking at all the centre. Yes. So not application. Of course, of course. And nothing nothing very nice. is it. Nothing is unique. But yo. Let me ask you, you are, you are Milner's? Yes, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so how, how that looking? Well, you see, they normally say the ladies are the roses among the fonts, but you know, <laughs> I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the handy among the bees. Yeah. 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 You sound like a, a smart young man. <laughs> you, you should be good at work. Well, you understand, you probably, instead of sending out an application, you probably just need to just show up. Yeah, 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 start to start talking to the patients, you know? That was good, eh? mm -hmm. yeah. Have you tried it? Not as yet. You want to start trying, I said, you never know, you just might want to get pull up in the polyclinic and tell you ready. That many of you in the know, who just left school and looking for work searching and, you know? What's going on? Hey, 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 let's try that. You in the struggle, though? You just left school? No, just I want to leave school. Okay. Wow. Right. What school is that? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's Corin. Corin. Yeah. All right. So what you wanna what you wanna try to after you leave school, like looking for work, you know, make some yeah. money. Yeah, because man. you know you can't be seen at the parents from your whole life. Right? Yeah, man. Yeah, you have to get out at some point. At some point. And start helping him some bills and all of that. So I don't know how you see that. I don't see the outside looking like a struggle. I think looking like a struggle. What yeah. is a struggle? <laughs> I'm thinking about Sir Afra, but if I get a, a job to myself before Sir Afra, a mm. little experience and stuff, took the job, I will take it. Okay. You know? But I will, I will not take any job. Any job. Alright, so what, what are you really, what do you really want to do? In life? Yeah, I mean, when you just leave school, you know, you're unsure as to what you really want to be doing. Yeah, but right now you're an adult. Yeah. You understand? Again, the bills come into play. Mm -hmm. yeah. You check as them fellas, they're about paying bills and everything. So we need to start paying some bills. You check what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Your mother, your father. But your mother. Yo, let me ask you that though. As a young man, like just about to leave school, you're looking at how things going, right? Mm -hmm. Do you find there are opportunities for you? For me? Yeah. Partially, the, the opportunities you talk about it in the workfield? Well, just in general, as a young man. Because you know, a lot of young fellas have things they like to do. Because I, I know, like I know you, you're into your music, music you're into youth, I'm into youth. Whatever you're interested you interested in. Sports. Do you find there are those avenues for you? Well, not really. I mean, they are there, but you're not the best condition if you talk about sporting facilities. And then even, let's say, for scholarships and those things, it's a little difficult to get to get because you don't reach the right amount of people. I would say. Okay, that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, that's so true. Because to be honest, if you have always thought about it, and I feel like a lot is asked of us as young men, as fellas, right? But there's not a lot brought to the table for us. Yeah, that's true. And you I think, though, I think in, in, in our school system, it is not impressed on us the full scope of opportunities that exist. How many young men in Form 3 actually realize that there is a career as a barber? Mm -hmm. True. And you can make a solid living from that. How many True. of them are aware, really, of mm -hmm. all the opportunities that exist for them? Are we stuck to the traditional subjects that yeah, guide yeah. you to a certain set of fields? Okay, so you're actually you're saying something. it shouldn't always be about the academics. Yeah, I you think know, so. What about you know, a career when you leave school? You know, I think they teach us some a lot of times, you know, in, in, at school, you know, in, in, instead of going and work for somebody, why not try and look for work for yourself? Mm -hmm. You understand? I think you could apply that too. You know, what do you like doing? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I like speaking to people. Do so you want to be a psychiatrist? Psychologist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, that, that is, that is so part of it too as well. I mean, if you, if you want to do that, you want to help people and talk to people, why not make that a career? But that's not the only thing I want to do. Okay. You know, I still like my little farming. Uh, yeah, man. Mm. Mm. Of course, of course. Of course. Well, you are growing for the time. <laughs> well, for now, I have lettuce, bell peppers. So you're growing stuff now? Yeah, man. Eh, eh. So how come I never see you? Never come around the shop and sell all the peppers and things. So, 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm catching the market. Oh! 
So we have a place by the yeah, market. Yeah, man. Yeah, my, my so, uh, that's what we're raising. So we have a spot. So you think about the one going on the market the night? That's so heartbreaking. Eh? I just want to see what the future is. The future unfolds, you know? Yeah. But I, I had to tell my grandmother what might happen in my vision, but then I just wanted to see it for herself. So which part of it is heartbreaking? The part, the, well, the aspect of how they carried out what they did yeah, to the jam people, people on the streets. Uh, yeah. That's one. And the second aspect is that I know the, the fine for being by the market would be higher. And if they build in new buildings, we would have less space. After sure. space is already a problem. Mm -hmm. So, like I tell my grandmother, I just want to see the, the, the outcome. And then to it. me, the other heartbreaking thing is where they were originally, they were generating a certain amount of money. Yeah. Yeah. And now when they relocate them, they're going to be making us another certain amount of money. So it's just like, it's like and you were thinking you have a family, you have this, that, and your comfort, and then now. You understand? So it's, 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 it's a troubling thing when you now, as a civilian of a nation, trying to, you know, take care of your family, that's a natural thing. And the birds do it, the fish, everybody is taking care of their family. And you're in a position and then, like, it's just like, they just pull the mat under your feet. So it's not, it's not like he wasn't even trying, like people were literally waking up. Yeah, yeah. Try it, just like the coconut vendors, just like mm -hmm. so many other people. Yeah, that, that, yeah that, 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 that one bothered me. Yes. So, so let, 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 me, let me ask a question. You think that's political or that's just the government doing what the government should do? It's not to be political, there? but then they watch it from their side when they sometimes forget they have the little Mali results, we may call it, and mm. they don't see how it affects the mm. real Mali results. Yeah, but, yeah, but I, I even heard too as well. Sorry for continuing, sorry. Does the voters? I mean, that's part of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm talking to follow you, so it's like when you, like for me, yeah, when you do things like that, like this, always going to be something you may not even foresee. Yeah, yeah, that's true. yeah, that's true. That's true. That's, true. that's so great because that's people's <laughs> life. That they they mm. waking up every day, they think of something to do. So you would have left the market as it? No, I'm not saying. So what, what, how are you going to have to this? Boy, I'm not a politician. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, I think you have the situation at the market. You know, I get what you're saying. How would you, what would you know, have done if it was you? I, 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 I probably walk on sections, send them yeah, um, across the road, do some, I, I don't know. And I did this block, the market in sections? block one road, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> for me, for me, I, boy, think, I don't know. I you think know. you'd have to know <laughs> if the actual persons would be affected. Right. Uh, you cannot just go ahead making decisions for someone without getting their feedback. Well, to make people have on the ground there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's so I don't know anything about <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't I don't know if maybe. people were actually consulted, but no, no. I foresee it wasn't consulted. So what? Well, uh, you're saying people were not consulted. I know people received checks. People received checks. And they agreed to the letters, there yeah. were meetings. Yeah. So there's a level of dialogue. However, I just think it wasn't the best move. But there was a level of dialogue. Yeah. But you saying like you didn't receive a letter. Yeah. Did you receive letter? a check? No. Okay. I mean, my brother, you have to go by the I mean, the second is this. There's, there's <laughs> talk of um, yellow getting and red not getting. I, I mean, that's why I asked, like, I mean, are they being political? You know, are they being it's political? Like, so because some get it and some not get it. Right. I, I mean, something is wrong there. They, they'll always come up. Mm -hmm. Because they'll always have one side that want to favor their side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one side will say, oh, I didn't get because they think I'm red. That person might not be red. But it's because they think people think they're red. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't get. It might be some criteria they have to go for. Maybe only if you're registered, yeah, you, check. Exactly. you got to check. The, the, the criteria. But that's why I saying it might be that only the registered, don't forget a lot of these people come there un, unofficially yeah, and they, they sell. Maybe it's just all the registered ones that mm -hmm. got, maybe it's the recognized ones or the people that had to come to do something, whatever it may be. But you know from a time one side, a second, a second, a second, okay? yeah. you will always criticize it. Yeah, but but from, 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 what I, from what I understood, they came during the day and they engaged the vendors that they found. And the limitation in that is that they were not aware that there are vendors who come in at six o'clock exactly. and sell later into the night. Mm. So they engage the vendors based on the discussions that they had during the daytime of that group of vendors. 
So after those persons receive their money, they receive their checks, they were relocated. All of a sudden, they realize in the that evening they are a new set of vendors. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So vendors, so vendors. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. at yeah. six o'clock, those who are there during the day, from my understanding, yeah. they leave. And another set come at sale into the night. Yeah, yeah. Now I heard persons arguing, but the shift doesn't even make sense. What not? What not? But I know for me, we've had emergencies where we run to the market yeah, after yeah, eight months some quick seasoning, some seasoning. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying what they did in terms of trying to rebuild the market and whatnot is not good. I mean, the first thing they should have worked on is giving a wider yeah, okay, space, yeah. a wider space, <laughs> and. If they say they'll give a uh, wider space, then they keep on trying to clean that space because if you go by the market there, they're, they're not a nice place. I understand sometimes they try to clean there, but I don't know what, but they have something that does not make it <laughs> stay clean and try to... You mean the new location? No, no, the new location. Now the new location, I don't find it as a problem. I mean, you're doing something to better something, you have to... Something have to go on the side for now. Yeah, the, and sacrifice. It's, the, the sacrifice is not forever. It's just for a, a short time. So I don't really have a problem with, with where they put the people. But I have a problem with, with what would come after mm-hmm. from what they're trying to better for us. Let's, let's, let's see how long they yeah, so you, see, you see that man? Yeah, you see Mitch? Yeah. That man is a politician. <laughs> 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 Are you serious? Mitch a politician. You see the way he's talking? Mitch a politician in the making. He has a great touch. Is that a politician in the making? Now make sure you give me a political map. That means I'm sure we are. Now, now, now let us, like, give me for a second. Like, yeah. I'm listening to everybody speak and think, yeah. and we talk about people not being consulted, things provided, not provided. And we could look at, I mean, all of us said you've read all of us, like, middle 45, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, the policy makers will make the decisions, the guidelines you follow and whatnot. Do you honestly find that as young people, as youth, a lot is expected from us, from those policy makers, and do you find that they provide what is necessary for us to fulfill what is expected of us? Hmm. Like as a young man, let me, let me, let me, let me cast in you, I got you, because you are an artist. <laughs> So the like for example, right? A lot is expected of us. Right. But do you find for all that is expected, enough is provided? Mm-hmm. Or are the expectations mm-hmm. too high? Um Well, having the expectations is a good thing, you know, that's like a good motivation, you know, you don't you don't want to just you know aim just for the regular, you know you want to you know, live your best life, you check? Right. So I think, you know, my expectations is good. I think, the St. Lucia in particular, I think we don't have industries in nothing, if you ask me. I would say that because once upon a time, we used to produce coconut oil. True. Mm. And then now oh, the true. whole world is going crazy for coconut oil. True. So St. Lucia could have had a coconut oil advantage, or you understand, but I don't know what happened, I'm not a policy maker, you understand? So like, in terms of, for example, so young people, what, what, what young people going into nowadays, sports or music? Yeah, is, right, there a right. place, is there a place where you as a young artist can say, well, I can just go there and take it some out and right. record a song, or I can go in this facility, right. and if I want to play football, basketball, look how long it takes us forget to what one solution on the West Indies team. Right. <laughs> See how long that took? You know how many great St. Lucian cricketers they had before? Exactly. You know, sorry, some would, I would say arguably greater than the one that made it, but to me he's the greatest one because he's the one that made it. Check where it's coming from. Yeah. But they don't really have industries. They, they, it's even, for example, our export situation, import and export, yeah? Right. This is like Grenada, they have spices, you can't go and take nobody's um, nutmeg in the tree. I think we have a number on it. <laughs> they're very serious about exporting their spices. For sure. For sure. Now, in St. Lucia, we have a lot of resources, they have a lot of land that's forest that we don't use. What are we exporting now? 
we are exporting people. bananas. Yeah. Yeah. And people. Yeah, what are we? Yeah. 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 And people, yeah. and people, yeah. and people, yeah. and people yeah. beans. Yeah. 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 Right, but we're not doing that on a substantial level. There is no industry. There is before there was a banana industry. It was in demand. Right. We was in a favorable market position. No, it was in a favorable position with trading laws blah blah, but that's long gone. Mm. Better go up. Yeah. But now we don't have no industry in anything mm. to say. Yeah. All right, say no shit. What tourism? Mm. Which well, that's what we depend on now. Now, now. now. let me now. say something. Exactly. Let me say something. I'm from the tourism industry. Exactly. Mm. Right now, let's name three hotels that's owned by Solutions. <laughs> Now we're talking about the people in the industry which are us, that's right. the same which are the uh -huh. friendliest people, you know, yeah, on this side that, of the world. Now the people come in here, they love her natural beauty, but the money is not ours. That is true. true. No. How much of the money actually stays? Yeah, at, at the end of the day, let's just say they have um, tax mm -hmm. breaks. And then I never get a tax return check in my life. Right. People getting tax breaks. So you like file it? If I file, but we file, don't file, you know, get it. They send me a letter one time saying, Oh, I owe them money. So I say, oh, what? You'll never pay me how I owe you all. <laughs> it's like, yo, the stop. And they're like, no, I'm sorry, that was a mistake. It's like, yeah, but when you're going to pay me, um <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you understand? So it's like they don't have no industry, same notion. They have soccer artists, all these budding artists, dinner segment artists. What What is the platform for, for, for these artists? Let me, let, let me ask you, you as an artist, right? I mean, we <laughs> recently had the Senusha Jazz Festival. I mean, yeah. The festival. Yeah. yeah, festival. I mean, it's supposed to be mainstream <laughs> jazz since they changed it a couple of years ago. Which I mean, right. yeah, I don't know what's the, the brand, you know, like that, so I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but listen, you get anything out of that? I mean, as an artist, mm. did you get any shows? Well, I was did, on, you, get, did you participate I, in anything? I, I was on Ancillary, Ancillary Jazz. Okay, well, let's talk about it. How was that, Gassa? It was nice. Yeah. They had a good turnout mm. for Ancillary. It was like a Friday night, so it was like, you know, you're just, just feeling that Friday night ancillary energy. Mm. So it was nice. You know, Black was there, you know. So, you know, I enjoyed the show. <laughs> so, but apart from the whole scheme yeah, of, yeah. of all the other jazz events, like, I, I, apart from the one I was booked on, I don't know anything about any okay, of okay, the okay. others. <laughs> all right, all right. But, but coming back to what you were saying, in terms of, like, the opportunities, yeah. and, I, and I can I can see why, why he would say so, but I can't, I, yeah, I find it difficult to just blame policymakers, yeah. um, and I say for for one reason because you hear people talk to us and they speak about the youth, how the youth um, are the future, the youth are going to have control of this country. In politics, they tell you the youth have the deciding vote. They give the youth so much power, so much authority, so much influence, but we as young people don't do anything. If we know everyday politicians say we are deciding, why don't we? Why, why don't we match that value that they um, give us? Yes. And I, I think it may be because we don't have the opportunity to, but I, I honestly I, think as youth we, we cut ourselves short. Because there's a lot that we can do in terms of empowering ourselves, and I don't mean like me empowering me, but me empowering young people. We, 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 we have, they, they say to us every day, they ring it in our head that we are in control, but I don't find that we are taking up the mantle to be in control as well, much as we well, can. To be honest with you, why don't you start? Um, why don't you I know personally, I, I will, and I'll let everybody know, I'll do everything I have to for youth empowerment in my mm. community, right. the national level. What is that? Bauno, proud, big B. So what are, what are you doing up there, I mean, to start, you know, probably a movement well, in, within the youth from Bauno? We can dig up our group. Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. We got well, the Bar One Defense yeah, Council. Yeah, we got the Bar One Defense <laughs> Council. Um, I'm actually the newly elected vice president. That's our, our president oh, right there. Congratulations. So, I mean, you can see That's our people. second vice. <laughs> 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 you, you can, when you see a group of people who have a, a similar drive, a similar yeah, goal, yeah. Then it's best to bring that group of people together and then that's you see change happening. And that's what, what that's what we decided to do. Yeah. As, as a youth and sports council. So you find I we each individually understand where we see ourselves as young people and where we want to see our community. 
Okay. And so we we starting off on the real grassroots level, mm -hmm. and then we're going to take it national. That that's not a that's not a if a maybe or a I'm not sure. It, it's going to happen, and if I have to give everything I, I have to, to do it, I know there are people around me that are willing to do the same. Mm -hmm. But each individual person needs to be willing to do that. Need to be saying, well, I need to go and get myself empowered. Mm -hmm. I need to influence somebody to come with me, and let's all grow as a community. Then we all grow as a nation because if politicians are going to say, you are the ones deciding if we in power or not, let, let's hold them to that. Well, we are the ones deciding what are you going to do to us to convince us to give you that power. Mm. And I think that's what young people are not doing here. Yeah, well, politics, nah, I don't know if that, yes, sir. I, I, I don't mean to play the well, I mean to play devil's advocate. <laughs> you know, because I, I kind of somewhere in the middle, I agree with you. I, but at the same time, there are policymakers who would say, you have the power, you are capable of doing this, you can do this, you can do that. But in truth, do you really have the power? How much, like, how much power do you really have? You know, like I'll give you a perfect example. I mean, I teach, right? The curriculum, God, I'm gonna be fat for this, but the curriculum is flawed. <laughs> The reason, I, the reason I could say that it's flawed is because before I taught at a school, um, a secondary school, I taught at one of the best programs I believe in St. Lucia, which is care. Right? I've also worked with NSDC at different projects and whatnot. And every day I would sit in class and I would see young men who would do great in the care program. But yet they have to go through five years of school first before they could be put into care. You know? So imagine you could be developed into a skill, into a trade. So at 16, 17, you certified in a trade. But you have to go for five years of something that is not, because education is not just, education is remember formal and informal, right? That's right. And you have to actually go for five years of formal education mm -hmm. that you are not built for where you could have spent three of those five years in a program that could develop you into a particular skill. So, so and, and, and we, see it, we see it all the time. We get a lot of young men dropping out from school, dropping out, dropping out, dropping out. And we wonder why, because the education system does not, is not built for them, it's not suited for them. But yet we refuse to tweak it. Um, about that. Um, well, I did a little stint teaching and my last stint I did a CDQ right. with okay, a now. few students and this is something I understood as actually... So you're a teacher now? No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <It's> teacher. <laughs> yeah. That's actually open for different secondary schools to tap into. I know um, Compre is doing a few. I was at ASD, I did um, the IT like I said with a special needs group. And um, this is something that the schools can't tap into, but again, what is constantly recurring is that there's not enough information given about these things. And it shouldn't be an option, but it should, like you rightly said, be part of the, of the entire curriculum. Right? Yeah. So it, it's clear that everybody isn't academically in tune like everybody else. So if somebody is stronger in farming or in, in construction, exactly. they shouldn't be forced to do all the other subjects. I know math and English is needed, so at least the math and English, but with the skill that they require. True. So That's I true. do actually so, agree with you, but you could tap into some of the CVQs for some of the students. So, so do you think the education system now, as it is, is the same like it was 10, 15 years ago? Have you seen advancements? Really. In some extent, <laughs> 10 some years ago, extent. were CVQs available? No, that's why I would say to some extent. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, there have been advancements, but at what rate are these advancements exactly. happening? Exactly. Um, are these advancements even reaching the desired persons that they should reach? Now, that's one of the big problems. Yeah, because it's like asking a fish, a monkey, and an elephant to climb a tree. Which one? Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not level, it's not a level paid. And even, sorry for going on that tangent, but even with the whole gender equality thing, I believe that it's never about equality, but it's about equity. equity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you have to for bring true. everybody up to a standard that at the end will all be level, rather exactly. than saying it's a level paid when some persons already have an advantage. Yes, yeah. I, I, I totally agree. Uh, you said yeah. about the um, 
the thing about advancement in school. I would say it kind of has a little advancement when you have when you talk about sex and you have your SB is doing that, then you still have sex it right. You have the advancement because if you actually take your SB serious, you have a, a chance of getting a one or two. And it's not a, a matter of opinion, it's just factual. But the thing is about that, whilst you're doing your SB, you're getting homework and teacher stressing you out. So then to do your SB it, it's, the <laughs> it's the advancement. It's an advancement. It's an advancement, but it's it's still a problem in, in the mix. Like let's say SB was given um CXC was given two months for all students to complete the SB and they only focus on SB if no actual work given homework given out that would take up the SB time you would have at home or something of that sort. That would be where you could actually say we have a proper advancement. But then when you give in an SB and then a teacher still giving how much homework to do and that beating you where you could have been doing your SB and I understand that homework would, would help you in getting the subject better, but then at the same time, when you watch it from this side, which one is needed more? The homework you're doing for now or CXC? I suspect you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with homework. Homework is there to, to make sure you get whatever, especially right. for maths. Yeah. We'll give you the practice. Yeah, the practice. We'll give you the practice. But it's about but then, what you say, um, I do understand what you're saying, but let's just take a look at you, Dummy Secondary School, you have a job now and you begin doing some online course at the university. Sure. So, as much as it may be flawed to some extent, but it does equip you for later down the line. And that's one thing I must give St. Lucia. You see all the struggles we face in Lucia. When we go overseas, it's like it's a breeze. That's why Lucians thrive so much when they go to other countries. Because, trust me bro, the struggle is real. Yeah, I, I don't even want to talk about but it. As you say that now, know how it is. I just you want to say. <laughs> yes. yeah, but, but, yeah, but as you say that now, a lot of that, that's like the cause of brain drain where all exactly. the bright very emotions. True. You yeah, like very the, true. If you go overseas, you know what your salary going yeah. to be like, yeah. bro. Yeah. Or yeah. 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 big money in the Cayman so Islands. Yeah. Yeah. The smart yeah. students thinking about it, so we have to keep. These people in St. Lucia, building St. Lucia, bro. Yes, Which is why I'm pretty much. Let, let me, let me uh, ask uh, you. Uh, you your hair as youth. Do you think um, the common entrance is putting a lot of pressure on the youth? You on so? you guys. Do you think there's uh, 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 some yeah. type of pressure on the common entrance? I know common entrance is small. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's easy. 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 That's it is something good, but then honestly, I don't have a problem with communication. Mm -hmm. Because I just heard Barbados is going to be getting rid of it soon. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. So they have policy people who think they should get rid of it and some who want yes. to keep it. Yes. Right. So it's more or less like after primary school, they just go straight to secondary school. But I uh, think about they kids, should, but they should still have a test meant in a way like we like we try to get to. You have to see. If somebody yeah. more technical thinking or they're more that's, academic that's thinking. That's yeah. 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 Is common yeah. entrance yeah. that yeah. type of examination exactly. to yeah. say that? Yeah. No, it's just, yeah. just so testing like everybody on the same mm -hmm. academic level. Nah, so it should be, you should, should separate, you should right common entrance separate those that are academically yeah. inclined, you have them continue for the Because they have comprehensive schools that have the subjects for the technical students. Yes, yes. Well, I think we need more vocational schools, to be honest with you. And what I think should happen as well, we should have vocational schools as a common entrance choice. Yes. So we keep the exam. Well, I, I won't call it an exam, but we, we keep it. <laughs> we, we, we keep the assessment right. We tweak it a bit. And we use it as a means of identifying where, where you are. Yeah, where your, where your, where your interest is at. And then from there, we could direct you properly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we all know that remember. females and males don't mature at the same, at the same time. time. Yeah. Females go through puberty before us. Yeah. And right. That also encompasses the part of the brain which um, includes decision making and all that. Right. So, but do you think, do you guys agree that the educational system in the Caribbean, particularly St. Lucia or the OECS, is fair to both males and females by having us at the same level? 
in terms of writing to, um, exams like common entrance and assessing all of us at the same way? I would say I would say no. Let me tell you why. I was looking at a report recently and what they were saying is that because of that same thing, I can't remember the name of the chemicals in the brain, the chemicals yeah, in the brain. But what you find happen is that the living styles of boys at a particular age and girls are different. Exactly. So a girl at a certain age, like yeah, say 14, 15, yeah. it's easier for her to just sit down and look um, at a boy. Exactly. Look at a blackboard and retain. Whereas for a boy you'd have to get up, you'd have to walk mm -hmm. around, you'd have to feel something, you'd have to do something. But when you look at the current school system where the teacher comes in class, teaches, gives information, it's more catered towards a style of learning that from the young.